this rally shows no signs of cooling off. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed at yet another record, extending its winning streak to seven days. Energy stocks rallied today as oil prices soared and the technology sector rebounded from a post-election sell-off. The blue chip Dow index added 54 points to 18,923. The Nasdaq rose 57 and the S&P 500 gained 16. Since the election, the best performing sector has been the financials. But can this rally in this group continue? Bob Pisani takes a look. Financials have been on fire since the election, but the rally is losing steam and with good reason. The biggest bank stocks are up almost 15 percent since the election. Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs all hit 52 week highs. It's going to be tougher to get those kinds of gains from here. The S&P financial sector is trading almost 20 percent above its 200 day moving average. Now that almost never happens and it's highly unlikely that bank stocks will keep rising until we get more information on what the Trump administration plans to do. So banks have been rising for three reasons. First, there's regulatory reform. But it's not clear how much of Dodd-Frank will be dismantled. And at any rate, this would only benefit the biggest money center banks for the most part. Second, banks have been going up on rising interest rates, but we have no idea how much rates ultimately will go up. And the Fed will be the key to watch here. Interest rates have also been moving on the perception that more infrastructure spending may be inflationary, but that's a long way down the road. Third is corporate income tax reform. It would make sense that banks would benefit from this, but it's not clear how much would go to their bottom line. Again, we just need more specifics. Finally, there's two other near-term events, the Italian referendum and the Federal Reserve meeting, both only a few weeks away, and both could trigger more bank squeamishness. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.